the lawn. I want to give a lot of joy face to you. How about she me how shy? She says, Thanks for the legs. She had a lot of fun coming to the earth. We're going to see you just off to the city. We're going to say, Clean, but I'm going to stay here all the time. My fiance, I'm trying to Another day on the highways and byways, preaching the downfall of this wicked kingdom, Satan's kingdom. Which is uh, ruled by uh, Esau, Edom, and so forth. White man who's doing the bidding of Satan in these last days. One day closer to seeing Yahweh Bashim and Mashiach Malachi Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Radazal, we have that number. Preaching the word to the, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, telling them to repent and come back to, to the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because, uh, like Yahweh Shai said, fear not, little flock, it is your father's pleasure to give you the kingdom. Yes, so we are going to do our just trying to find the, the lost sheep, the hopeful elect. That's what we hope to be. As we approaching uh, to his return, it's, uh, now is time more than ever. It, uh, salvation is nearer than we believe. Okay, so it's time to give back to Yahweh Shai. Because if you, if you are of that hopeful elect, you will be ruling with Yahweh Shai. And the, uh, uh, the government is going to be on his sh shoulders. This government, Esau's government, is wicked. And, and so you don't, you want to separate from this government and, and not lean upon it. Uh, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man in his government. You know, govern, government means control control the mind. And that's what they, uh, they try to do. They just try to control your mind through their government. You got to uh, separate and come to the following uh, Yahweh Shai. The, the, the government is going to be on the head of his shoulder. This is going to be rolling. Be Yahweh Shai, King David, the, the 12, 12 apostles and the rest of the 144,000. That's going to be the governing body. And that's what we hope to be of that number. Many are called, but few are chosen. We hope to be chosen. So we're going to get into uh, what they did at that uh, World Economic Forum in Davos. And Davos means the son of David. And what they're trying to do, is they're, they're trying to X out the son of David by establishing this wicked new world order. Okay, they don't want people to speak the truth. Speaking the truth is against the, the, their narrative. They don't want you to, to strive for this truth. But we, the elect, they're gonna strive for the truth unto death. That's the scripture saying with the Sarah chapter four. Let's see what, they, what they're doing. Davos, Switzerland this week for what they call the World Economic Forum, where they cook up crazy ideas to get rich, make our lives miserable. And that's Psalm 64. Let's check in to see how today they, went, their shall, we? shall fall upon themselves. <laughs> She's just talking. Rituals right here. We see that, that the rituals that they were doing right there, the, going into that, it, 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 uh, that, that, what that's called, that's shamanism, okay? You can get a, a definition on uh, shamanism. Shamanism is a, a religious practice that involves a pr practitioner interacting with the spirit world through, through altered states, concerts such as trance. So uh, we're, we're going more into it. An important part of shamanic ritual was a preparation of sacred place, costume, special creative clothes, and ritual objects, wooden images that, symbolize, that symbolizes incarnations of diseased spirits were used to Creative practices by the uh, Selkups, Evex, and the Dolphins. Uh, that, that's what was going on right there. It's, it's enchantments. They're throwing enchantments on the people. Enchantment, a feeling of en enchantment definition on Oxford Dictionary. It's enchantment, a feeling of great pleasure, delight, magic, witchcraft, sorcery. The state of being under a spell. Magic. And yeah, that's what they're putting in. People under a spell. 414. That's the hopeful elect. That's what we hope, hope to be. 
Hey, that was the license plate. It said 414. All right. Yeah. That's, that's two weeks in a row. Last week on the block, I see one. Now I see one again. Follow line me all by shimmer. My shot block y'all with shot. These heathen, they're going to be uh, judged when y'all with shot returns. And the residue of the heathen, they're going to go into slavery. Okay, so when Yahweh Shai comes, he's coming to, to judge and make war and judge the nations. Okay, that's why the scriptures say Yahweh Shai, he shall have many crowns upon his head because he's going to have authority over these nations. He's going to rule over these nations. He's going to take their authority away and he's going to have authority. Okay, there, every knee shall bow, bow in the returning of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, that's what's going to happen. And, uh, uh, also as well too, just and, and that's, that's an ancient custom. Uh, when, you, when you take down a king, you take his crown. Just like uh, David, when he took that, the Ammonite king's cr crown, he put it upon his head. So, and that's an ancient custom. And that's what's going to happen when Yahweh Shai returns. He's going he's gonna to rule and have authority over these other nations. And everything's going to have to bow and obey Yahweh Shai. So going more into the enchantments, they're showing you now what they're doing. They're putting it in your face. They're, they're, they're just literally showing you. They used to hide it, okay, but now they're just putting it in your face. So hey, actually, let's, let's, let's get Psalm 64. Psalm chapter 64 and verse 1. Hear my voice, O Yahweh, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Yeah, enemies, the Psalms 83. Okay, it's starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and these other nations. Okay, also, uh, there's enemies of our own people, too, as well. Among our people are wicked men, as the scriptures say. Okay? But uh, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Yeah, because uh, Yahweh Shemir is going to preserve our life from the fear of the enemy. Uh, as the scriptures say, that he didn't give us a, a, a spirit of fear. Okay? Yahweh Shemir is he, he didn't give us that spirit of fear. Okay? We only fear Yahweh Shemir is because as the scriptures say, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And that's what moves us into wisdom and into obedience. In the ways that Yahweh Shemir is shy. By, by being in wisdom, okay? That's how you, uh, you uh, every move you make is predicated upon the fear of the Lord because that's how you make a wise choice. So like the scriptures say, the prudent man looketh look well to his goings. Okay, so yeah, you, you, you're, you're gonna look as well to your goings. You're gonna be uh, prudent, okay? That's why I'm gonna wait to continue on. Hide, Psalm 64 and verse two. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Okay, the secret council of the wicked, that's the secret council of the wicked right there, doing uh, the, those meetings, okay, the World Economic Forum. When you look at the World Economic Forum, they have that line, and it, sh it shows you a 666, okay? Like, you know that, that 666, that's tied to Esau, man. I mean, from the secret council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Okay, so, so from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. And these are all workers of iniquity. Also, our people too, as well, workers of iniquity. That's why Yahweh Shai, he says, apart from me, he that work into uh, iniquity. Because all our people are, are doing that iniquity as well, too. Iniquity is sin upon sin. And that's what our people walk, uh, continue to, uh, to love. And he said, Yahweh Shai, they're, they're adverse, okay? They love the rebellion. And uh, he saw even the so called white man, these other nations, they hate his instruction. Like our people too as well, like scripture said, they're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And that's how our people are. Verse 3, who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. And that's what they do, man. To wet, that means to sharpen. Okay, so they, so they sharpen their tongue like a sword and they bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. That's what they, they, they have to do, bitter words. Okay. Verse 4 That they may shoot in secret at the perfect And suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not yeah, so They're shooting at the perfect, they're shooting at the elect Okay, they come in with these, with these uh, evil plans Okay, to, to, to try to take down our people That's why they make these meetings uh, to, to, to control uh, the narrative Through te uh, te technocracy That's what they're going to control the narrative that's what they want to do, control the narrative through technocracy. And, and for, in order for them to control the narrative, they are going to uh, have to take away the truth because he, he's being exposed right now, he's being made bare. 
he's not controlling the narrative right now because he's being made bare. You see uh, Donald Trump too. That's all uh, just a, a snare too to bring in a civil unrest because our, our people follow Donald Trump. They, they, they're going to call it a liberalism. Okay, so they, and they're trying to shut down liberal, liberalism too as well. World Economic Forum, uh, Klaus Schwab went into that. And he wants to shut down liberalism so, so he can have more control. And that's what they, they're going to do with the CBDC and uh, AI. Through, uh, uh, they're going to be able to control your thoughts and to be able to know what you're doing before you even do it. Just like the, from the movie Minority Report. They're going to know if, if you're uh, wanting to commit a crime or, or do a, off yourself. They're going to know it and be able to prevent it, just like that movie Minority Report. Yeah, and even like AI technology, even uh, that's, that's, that's predictive programming, putting it in your face with that Minority Report. Even with that movie called Eagle Eye, they put it in your face with all with the technology is just is running, running the narrative, okay? Te it's technocracy, it's technology is calling the shots. Yeah, so verse four, that they may uh, shoot in secret at the perfect, the elect, suddenly they do shoot at him if you're not. Yeah, they, they don't have no fear. Yeah, they, they don't fear Yahweh by shooting out a shot. That's what uh, Amalek and these Edomites are known for, not having fear. And then these other nations that are confederate against thee. Because yeah, they're, they're gonna come, come at us with bitter words too as well. And they're gonna uh, uh, tie up, like Vocab Malone, how he's tying us with the Muslims and try, trying to make us to be a, a, a terrorism. We're a, a threat to Esau Edom, the so-called white man, by speaking this, uh, this testimony. Because uh, he, he's a fugitive at the end of the day. And we're speaking this true testimony that makes him, uh, the fugitive wants to knock out the, the testimony that's able to get him locked up in, 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 uh, in, from a judge in court. So that's what he saw even so far I is doing because he's that fugitive. Just like Cain. Yeah, they have that spirit of Satan on him. Okay, as well, as well too. They're going at it. Uh, he's, a, he's a fugitive and a vagabond. That's why, that's why the, uh, script, the scripture is saying Habakkuk chapter 2, he need, neither keep it at home. But yeah, he, he's a vagabond. He has to put his foot everywhere. Militaries everywhere, all around the, all around the world, uh, among these other countries. How he owns all these uh, other uh, hotels in these other countries. And he's, he's, he's always uh, leaving his uh, stamp somewhere. And that's what he, he, want, he wants to do. He wants to put his, his name inside of you. He wants to brand you. Okay, just like how they used to brand the, the, the cattle. Okay, that's what they're gonna do with this mark. He's gonna brand you. They used to brand the slaves too. Okay, uh, to, to the time of the Romans. It's nothing new under the sun. Uh, verse five, they encourage themselves in an evil manner. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? Yeah, they're, 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 that's what they're uh, doing. Okay, over, over there at the uh, World Economic Forum. They're, they're trying to lay snares privily, and they're, they're going to say, who, who shall see it? Yeah, but this, this is what they do. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. That's, that's all that's going on over there in the world of economic form is evil. And they, they encourage themselves to do evil, to promote it, to push it out on the people. Okay, that's why the family structure is destroyed. Okay, that's, why the, that's why there's GMOs in the foods. Air is polluted with chemtrails. That's why everything is centered around wickedness and rebellion. So rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. And that's what they're, that's what they're doing in, in, the, in that World Economic Forum meetings, pushing out witchcraft, rebellion. How can they control this, this, uh, this new world? It's gonna be upon all the people. Like, like that world, I call Mene. That means it's gonna come upon the whole world. That M-O-T to the D, that hour of temptation, that's different from uh, uh, ion in uh, a cosmos, okay? That's why you gotta know your word. I'm on the greats in all these conflicts, okay? Uh, that's how you know that we're at the brink of uh, World War III. There's a, there's a lot of uh, articles that are telling you, hey, the, the Pentagon says that, that we're, we're near World War III, because we are, okay? It's, it's near, but we know that MOT to the B has to come out first. That's why we're in, uh, in all these conflicts with all, all these different countries. Okay, call Allah Yabba Shem Yal Shai, 441. Another one on the license plate. This is, this is what's to come, okay? 441, that's what's on the way. All right? And, 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 and,
for elect. That's what we hope to be. This verse 3 again. Psalm 64 and verse 3. Who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words. And that's what they do to, to get these uh, legislations. Okay, and they, they're already prescribed. All right, they, the scripture says, Woe unto you with these unrighteous decrees. Isaiah chapter 10. These unrighteous decrees, they're, they're, they're already prescribed. Okay, they're already ready to go. They just need to have a catastrophic event, a black swan event, and, uh, or a power outage, take the grid out, okay, or, or, or a false flag, just to, uh, to, to, uh, to, imp to uh, create the problem reaction solution, which the solution is going to be the MOT to the B, which is tied with CBDC. Okay, and that's what's coming sooner than later. Verse 5, they encourage themselves in an evil manner. They commune of laying snares privily. And that they, 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 they lay these snares privily through that New World Order agenda. That's why they all come together and try to uh, counsel what to bring forth. Uh, lay snares privily. And uh, that's why them encouraging themselves in an evil manner. And they shall say, who shall see them? So uh, verse 6, I'm going to get in the NLT. So verse 6 in the NLT, verse 6, uh, Psalm 64 and 6 in the NLT. As they plot their crimes, they say we have devised the perfect plan. Yes, the human heart and mind are cut. They plot their crimes. Okay, order out of chaos. The, 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 the chaos, the order out of chaos, the, the chaos is what they created. They created that chaos. So it's, this is what the, these are. Uh, New World Order elites do, these uh, world top banking families. It's, it's ultimately these world top banking families doing it, but they're using Klaus Schwab and these uh, other wicked doers to do their uh, bidding. So, so as they plot their crimes, they, hey, they're plotting, scheming their crimes, they say we have devised a perfect plan. That's their New World Order plan, okay? Yes, the human mind and, uh, yeah, the human heart, it's talking about the mind, uh, are cunning. Yeah, their, their mind is cunning. They're crafty. Esau was a cunning hunter. Okay? They're, they're, they're crafty. So let's get this in the KJV now. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Yeah, they accomplish a diligent search. They're, they're, they're looking into everything. Okay? They're, 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 uh, they're keeping track of the numbers of everything. Like I said, how they're keeping the track, how they kept track of the Jab 19. Uh, of the, the, the statistics of it to see like well, how many people took it how many people fell for the snare okay and how people reacted how many died so on and so forth they're, they're doing all that because what they're about to bring out is that disease x and gil bates he even said oh this one's gonna get the people's attention this one's gonna be uh basically telling you this one's gonna be worse than, than uh, the other one that's what they were letting you know and this one they could use this disease x as a, like I said, uh, use a pandemic as a, as a way to push the problem reaction solution to bring in that uh, MOT to the B with the CBDC. Because they'll use that fear mongering on the people. Because they, 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 they like to uh, get have people react off of fear. And then if you react off that fear mongering, you're going to fall into that snare and take the MOT to the B. Hey, but uh, they, they lift themselves up and, and cry. Like it said, it happens times too, but his soul which is lifted up in him is not upright in him. Roughly paraphrasing, but the just shall live by faith. So they're lifted up in pride, but, uh, but the just are going to live by faith. So the just are, are going to fold. They're going to uh, have that spirit of Yahweh Bashiach Shai on them to endure to the end and get through the, uh, the MLT to the beach and, and not take it, and not bow to the image of Baal. Because this system. They, they, it was co was coming these uh, dra draconian measures, these draconian laws that they that they already have prescribed. Like I'm saying, it, it's going to come to that that time where they are implemented, and we are going to have to. The just are going to live by faith. And they're going to bow to the image of Baal. Okay, we're not going to bow to Satan, ba Baal, and these other demons. They are not uh, w uh, working with the Esau, Edom, the so-called white man as much. That's why he's doing this wi witchcraft rituals in front of the people. Okay, he's letting you know. These, these demons are not working with him. The spiritual demon Satan is not working with him as much as he used to. Like the scriptures say, the devil coming down with great wrath because he knows he has but a short time. So he's coming down with great wrath because he knows he has but a short time. That's why they're uh, hurrying up these uh, prescribed legislations to bring, to, to, they just have to bring that catastrophic event out, that black swan event to implement. 
That's why they're hurrying up with these uh, World Economic Forum meetings in Davos. Okay, so let's get verse 7. Psalm 64 and verse 7. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Yeah, Yahweh Shem is going to shoot at them with an arrow. Yeah, Yahweh Shem is going to shoot at them with an arrow. You know what that arrow, that's an that's a IC, ICBM missile coming to Babylon the Great. It's known as America in verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Yeah, they're making their own tongue fall upon themselves. Like I just showed. Their own tongue's falling upon themselves a lot. Okay, they're letting you, their own people t tell you that they're not the true people. Yeah, like, like Harold Wallace, the... Uh, uh, Rosenthal, uh, he, he, he was letting, he was letting, uh, letting it be known. Okay, they, they let their tongue fall upon themselves. And we see a quote that he said, "We Jews have put issue upon upon issue to the American people. Then we promote both sides of the issues as confusion reigns. Uh, uh, Babylon the Great, known as confusion. With their eyes fixed on the issues, they fail to see who is behind every scene." We Jews, the so-called Jews, the small hatters, that's who he's talking about, toy with the American people as cat as a cat toys with the mouse. Yeah, it's showing you that they, they toy with the people. They, they're the demonic people. These are satanic people, the children of Satan. They're gonna, they're gonna toy with your mind to try to get you to stay in rebellion and not be as uh, awake. They don't want the people to wake up. Their own, their own tongue shall fall upon themselves is when their own people are admitting to, to who they truly are. They're being exposed. Okay, when, they, when their own lies get exposed by their own people. That's what uh, their tongue falling upon themselves is going into. Okay, Verse 9. All men shall fear and shall declare the work of Yahweh, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. That's what's about to happen. Verse 9 again, all men shall fear and declare and declare the work of Yahweh Shai, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. Yeah, and this is what's about to go down. Like I said, every knee shall bow. Okay? All men are gonna fear when they see Yahweh Shimi Al Shai come with the with the, with the angels. With the, via the chariots. Okay? And then when he uh, brings judgment on uh, Babylon the Great, all men are gonna fear once you uh Serve you how about Shimei how shy? They're gonna consider of his doing. Okay? They're, 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 every knee shall bow. They're gonna to wanna to bow before, they are gonna bow want to bow before Yahweh Shai. Verse 10, the righteous shall be glad in Yahweh Shimei Al Shai and shall trust in him, and all the upright in, in heart shall glory. All the upright in the mind. The heart's talking about the mind, loud. It's talking about the mind. Okay? So uh, I'm showing you right there. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord. Yeah, the righteous, that's the elect. They're going to be glad in Yahweh Shai. They're going to be praising Yahweh Shai. Okay? They, they, they shall trust in it. The elect are going to trust in Yahweh Shai. Even through, during the trials and tribulations. Okay? You, you have to trust in Yahweh Shai. During those trials. It's the time of faith. That we're coming into. Okay? Verse 11. Verse 11. Like, like scripture say, who shall separate uh, you from the love of Mashiach? And no one's going to be able to set you, separate you from the love of Mashiach. Not tribulations, not nobody, so on and so forth. If Yahweh Mashiach is for us, who can be against us? Okay? No one can, no one can be against us if Yahweh Mashiach is for us. That's why we have to keep the faith into what the times we're coming into right now, which is Jacob's trouble. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19. Talking the top, the burden of Egypt. Behold, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai rideth upon a swift cloud, and shall come into Egypt. It's talking about spiritual Egypt. Okay, Revelation chapter eleven, verse eight. This is a spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. This Egypt right here is spiritually Egypt. Babylon the Great is spiritually Egypt. Okay, and Yahweh Hashem Yahushai rideth upon a swift cloud. That's Yahweh Shai who's gonna be on those chariots when he returns. And that's why we're seeing so many uh, sightings of chariots in these last days. There's a lot of sightings of chariots. It shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, 
and the heart and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And then the idols are gonna be moved. So what the chariots are gonna do? They're gonna uh, deliver the elect. Okay? They're gonna take away the captivity of the elect. They're gonna deliver them. And then these chariots return. Okay? And then, and that, the burden of Egypt is the return of Yahweh's God because he's gonna he's gonna judge Babylon the Great. Okay? He's gonna he's gonna destroy it. Okay, with fire out of his chariots and his ICBM missiles. That's a burden. Yeah, Egypt is going to be moved out of its presence. It's going to be a burden for the people because, like, like I said, uh, prior to your house return, there's going to be a race riots, okay, uh, uh, civil unrest, civil war. Okay, that's what's going to be going down. They're going to be afraid when they see the chariots. Okay, these idols are going to be destroyed by your house and your house you know, scripture say Isaiah chapter two that in that time they, 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 they're just gonna throw their idols. And they're not gonna care about their idols. They're just gonna throw them. They're gonna hide, uh, hide in the rocks. Verse two. I will set Egyptian against Egyptian, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, everyone against his neighbor, and one against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. And that's what Yahweh Shai said. There shall be a nation against nation and a kingdom against kingdom and a famine and pestilences, so on and so forth. Okay, that's what Yahweh Shai was getting into. And that, that's what's coming to Babylon the Great, known as America. Okay? Sooner than later. That's why, that's why they came out with that movie, Civil War. The Egyptian against the Egyptian. Okay, the, the modern day, uh, the modern day Egyptian. Are, are these uh, uh, Edomites, so-called white men? Even the, even the, the white man, the so-called white man Esau, is uh, mad right now. Okay, he, he's mad that the, the Amalekites are, are hoarding the blessing. That's why uh, that's why Israel has so much uh, control over Babylon the Great. That's why they have so much of a say because they, they the, the Amalekites they run everything. They run these top banking families. They run Babylon the Great. It's the Amalekites, okay? And you know, these modern day Edomites, which are through, because they're gonna pay for the iniquity of their forefathers, okay? As the scriptures say, Isaiah chapter 14, they are showing you what, that they're, what they're uh, gonna be going through. And they, 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 they are, uh, that's why they're exposing their, their own people right now, their own tongues falling upon themselves, because they're mad that hey, uh, it's taken away their, their, their bill of rights, okay, the, the freedom of speech is being taken away through this uh, World Economic Forum too as well, okay, that's why even even on YouTube, like I, I go into, they'll take they'll uh, strike your page and take it down for a week, or they'll end up just taking away your whole page completely because you're speaking truth, and uh, that, that's uh, that's against uh, uh, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, okay, he doesn't like that. He's an he's a, he's a, he's a adversary, he's adverse. Yeah, Satan means adversary, and, and uh, that, that's what uh, you saw even so-called white man is doing, the bidding of Satan. So he's, he's an adversary. He's an adversary to righteousness. He's, he's against righteousness. Even when we're Satan, we know he's called the devil too as well, the spiritual demon of Satan. When you go into that word, it's strong G122, 8, is a prone to slander, slanderous, accusing falsely. Yeah, and, uh, like I said, uh, uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, false brethren that are slanderers. You have your father the devil, okay, so you're going to be slandering. And, 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 and coming to speaking of uh, being slanderers, man. The devil means slanderer, so that's, what, uh, that's why uh, uh, Esau, he's the so-called white man, he's doing the bidding of, of, of Satan, which is known as the devil too as well in these last days. So that's why they're, they're slanderers, okay, they're, they're going to slander the, the Israelites, man and make a, a false accusation to make them look as a, the, the, the terrorists, okay? They will get, ultimately, uh, they, they gotta t take away the truth, man. Okay, it will, it will be a, make a man an offender for a word. This, vault, this truth is gonna be outlawed, okay? It will make us look like the bad guys. It make us say something that we didn't say through AI, like how I showed in one of my lessons. Okay, they'll use that AI technology to make us the enemies, to make us, uh, have us say we said something and we didn't, okay? Just to get a, get us uh, uh, thrown into a FEMA camp in detention, okay? We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, okay? So we see what's going on.
And that's why civil rest is on the way. Like how I just read in Isaiah chapter 19, verse 2, man. It said that, that it's showing you that the, the, the kingdom that's divided shall not stand. This kingdom is divided. As, as the scripture said. Okay? Like Yahweh Shai said. So, verse, verse 3. Verse, Isaiah chapter 19, verse 3. And the spirit of Egypt shall fulfill in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to wizards. Yeah, that was, that's what was being fulfilled right there uh, with the World Economic Forum, what they were doing that in, in, in connection and okay, what they were doing uh, through that ritual. Okay, the, uh, what she was doing, uh, that uh, witchcraft that she was doing to, to, to the uh, World Economic Forum uh, le uh, leaders. Okay, of, of these uh, other uh, uh, c countries. Okay, so let's get that in the NLT. Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 3 in the NLT. And the Egyptians will lose heart and I will confuse their plans. Yeah, their, their, their plans are being confused. Okay, that's, that's what's going on. They will plead with their idols for wisdom, call on spirits, mediums, and those who and those who consult the spirits of the dead, they consult the spirits of the dead. And that's what Saul did. Okay, and Samuel rebuked him for doing that. Okay, it goes into that. Saul did that. He called on and called on those mediums. Okay, to, to the witch of Endor. Okay, and that goes into necromancy too as well. All these, all these celebrities, they do that witchcraft. They, they sh it's, they're showing you right there. They do this behind the scenes, and, and then, they, now, then they do it. Now they're doing it in front of your face, okay? Like just, just before they, they make come out with the new song, they'll do that type of ritual to, for, for the, the song to be popular and to people to be uh, get brainwashed by, by it, okay? So to keep listening to it, because the more you, and that's why these radios, they keep playing the song over and over again, because the more you hear it, the more you get hypnotized to it, okay? You, you, you fall you fall to the snare of their enchantment. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9. When thou come into the land which Yahweh shall thy power given thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Here with our, our, our people, not supposed to do after the abominations of those nations. That's why ultimately, why the law was implemented when they come into that land of Canaan, they take over that land. That's the promised land. That our forefathers uh, got. That's the, that's the land. Okay, they were not supposed to do after it was uh, Canaanites, uh, those, those, uh, those Hamites. Okay, they were those, those ites. They weren't supposed to do after those, those nations. They were supposed to come and, and uh, follow, the, follow the laws. Okay, the, the, the oil tradition that, that our forefathers have always followed. Like Adam, he followed the law, but it was just in him at that time. He didn't have, there was no laws on the stone during the time of Adam. Just like, like the sons of God, they were, it was just in him. And that's what it's gonna be for the for the elect. It's just gonna be in him. That's why we're trying to go back to that righteous state, okay? From the sons of God from the beginning. Verse 10, there shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. So during that time, our, our forefathers would bring their children and pass them to the fire to Molech. Okay, that's, that's the same thing these celebrities do with their children too as well. They, they, they pass it to the bows. Okay, so the, the, that's what they do. That's, that's the, the modern day what they do. They pass it to the bows as, as well too, like the abortion clinics. That's another way. Uh, 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 passing your children by, by the fire. A charmer, uh, a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all all that do these things are an abomination unto Yahweh by the power of God. Because of these abominations, Yahweh thy power will drive them out from before thee. He has an abomination from Yahweh by the power of God to do that. Okay, you're not supposed to do that on the brink of uh, Armageddon, man, which is known as World War III. They were in conflict with all these other uh, uh, countries, man, like uh, Russia, okay, Russia, Ukraine, 
uh, Iraq, Syria, South Korea, and North Korea, uh, China and Taiwan, uh, uh, Israel and the so-called Palestinians. Shows you uh, is a, a, what's to come, man. This is Armageddon. Shows you we're on the brink of World War III. So necromancer, I'm gonna just get it uh, on Google. Okay, uh, Wikipedia says necromancer is the practice of magic involving communication with the dead by summoning their spirits as apparitions or visions for the purpose of divination, imparting the means to foretell future events and discover hidden knowledge. Okay, that's what they that's what they were doing at the World Economic Forum. Well, they're foretelling future events, what well, what's to come. That's why they're uh, pro prophesying on the left hand side of the disease X of what's to come. They're foretelling you future events. Oh, well, that's on the left hand side of what they're doing. And we know Yahweh Shai created both good and evil, but their 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 evil can only go to a far, uh, only can go to a certain limit. Because okay, Yahweh Shai Shai, the truth is above all things. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 26: Ye shall not eat anything with blood, neither shall ye, ye use enchantment nor observe time. Yeah, so it's part of the law. Like in Deuteronomy 18, it's part of the law, man. We're not supposed to do this stuff. Enchantments. Ye uh, shall not do it. Okay, what does Scripture say? I sh shall not suffer a wish to live. Exodus 22 and 18. Okay? Right, let's get that uh, word enchantment in the etymology too as well. I brought this out before on a lesson on uh, the enchantments of music. And that's what these uh, singers do. They, because uh, we know uh, uh, sorcery goes into pharmacia. So that Esau, even the so-called white man, he pushes this, he gives you, the, the, he prescribes you these drugs. And uh, he, he brought all these drugs into Babylon the Great. And, and that, now uh, you, you, you do these drugs, uh, smoking, uh, weed, so on and so forth, heroin, all of that. You're activating, the opening a door for these demons to come inside of you. Okay, that, it activates those demons inside of you. And that's how, that, that's, that's why you're, you're not yourself, because you're not sober-minded. You, you have a demon on you. And that's why uh, you're acting different. That's why the uh, 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 witches and warlocks, which are really, that's what uh, the, 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 those people are in the World Economic Forum, and, and the, these uh, celebrities, they, they, they do this like uh, Beyonce, she, she, act, she activates those demons inside of her by uh, taking, uh, by doing these rituals or uh, taking the drugs, so on and so forth. That's what these celebrities do. They, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, Beyonce's uh, getting to the foreign to the drug. So this is an enchantment on Edamon Online, in etymology. So it's enchantment, enchantment, act of magic or witchcraft, use of magic, magic power, the old French magic spell song. Okay, so, and, 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 and let you know that uh, there's a lot of uh, enchantments in the music. That's why uh, the, 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 this uh, music is uh, is trashed in these last days. And you know, uh, 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 like the scripture says, but they put enchantments on the music. That's why people still like this music. And like I said, they keep playing it over and over again. And just like in they they clone Tyrone. They control you through the music, okay? So it's, it's show, they put it in your face, predictive programming. They put it in your face so they feel like they won't be guilty when it goes down. But hey, they, 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 like you say, their sins reach it up to the clouds, man. Okay, how about you now, Shai? You're gonna search out their sins. They're gonna, get, they're, they're gonna be judged for it. Sins reach it up to the spiritual realm. Okay, like I said, Revelation chapter 18. It says you just the power. Going and continuing on in that definition. Song, concert, chorus, the witch, charm. And then again in the Latin, it says to cast out a magic spell. So they're casting out magic spells through their songs. Okay, and, and, and the concert, chorus. Okay, like, uh, like in, a, in the French. Concert and chorus and, and song. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a magical spell through... Uh, through, uh, through, a con uh, through music as well, too. Okay, a concert and chorus. Okay, so you see that it's, uh, these concerts, it's all witchcraft. Okay, uh, uh, like uh, Beyonce, that's the straight witchcraft, which is out there on those concerts. Okay, uh, 
uh, also as well too. A little Uzi Vert. Yeah, that, that's all he pushes witchcraft. He said uh, at his concert, you guys are going to to, to hell for uh, for, for uh, listening to my music, for being here, basically. Roughly paraphrasing what he said. They want to. That's why they're put, pushing this in your face and this witchcraft. But it's going to be all brought to naught when you're out of return. Let's go back to Isaiah chapter 19. Look at Isaiah chapter 19. It, so, uh, should the princes of Zoan are fools, the counsels of the wise counselors of Pharaoh has become brutish. Like I said, it's become stupid. And this is this is where a Pharaoh and his wise men would meet. The princes of Zoan, that was an ancient meeting place. Okay? Just, uh, the, 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 the top elite would meet. The, the, the sorcerers. Okay? Just like the, 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 the Chaldeans. They were uh, the, the, those top elite uh, uh, warlocks. That's what Zoan was, that ancient meeting place, okay? So, so it's just like Washington, D.C. would be a meeting place. Okay, that's why they have that, uh, it's, it's modern day uh, spiritual Egypt. That's why they, Washington, D.C., they got that ob obelix, that Washington monument. That goes back to Egypt, man. So surely the princes of Zoan are fools. The councils of the wise counselors of Pharaoh have become brutish. How say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of the ancient kings? <laughs> Get that in the NLT. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 11. What fools are the officials of Zoan? Their best counsel uh, to the king of Egypt is stupid and wrong. Will they still boast to Pharaoh of their wisdom? Will they dare brag about their wise ancestors? Yeah, but Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the modern-day Pharaoh, he's boasted up in pride. Okay, the, the pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. Okay, as the scriptures say. The how about Shemiah Shai is, is hardening his heart. It's like how he hardened Pharaoh. So he's going to still be uh, boasted up in pride and, and, uh, and do these uh, unrighteous decrees. And, and he's going to be like a madman sparing none. And what, what do the scriptures say? Okay? Uh, pride going before destruction. So his pride is going to be his downfall. So uh, let's, get, let's get this out there. Verse 12. Where are they? Where are the, thy wise men? Let them tell thee now, and let them know that Yahweh Shema was shy of hosts have purpose upon Egypt. Yeah, yeah, that lines up right with 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Where's the wise? Where's the scribe? Had not God made foolishness of the wisdom of this world? Go the paraphrasing. That lines up right with it, man. So uh, let's get this in the NLT, Isaiah 19:12. Isaiah chapter 19 verse 12 in the NLT. Where are your wise counselors? Let them tell you what God plans. What the the hour of heaven armies is going to do to Egypt. Okay, hey, yeah, let, let you let your wise counselors to tell you what Yahweh Shimei Hashai's plans are. Okay? Lord uh, 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 of hosts, okay, like it says in KJV, the Lord of hosts. Okay, Yahweh Shimei Hashai. Uh, army, okay. To, to say what, what's going to happen. Okay, what had what had Yahweh Shimei Hashai purpose on Egypt? We're letting you know what's happen, what's going to happen to, to in Egypt, which is spiritually in Egypt, Babylon the Great. We're letting you know what he's going to do to Egypt. He's going to destroy it. Okay, judgment is coming. Uh, Yahweh Shimei Hashai. We uh, went through the ICBMs and the chariots. The ICBMs is a form of his weapons too, as well too. So verse 13, the princes of Zoan are become fools. The princes of Noth are deceived. They have also seduced Egypt, even they that stay of the tribes there. And the tribes, that, 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 that's the 12 tribes of Israel, man. The princes of Zoan are fools. Okay, they're fools. The fool, a fool is likened unto darkness. They're in ignorance. These people are, 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 are wicked, man. And, and they know these scriptures, man. Yeah, they, and they, 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 they do a diligent search. So they, they know the, the, the prophets are, they know, they hear the prophets to tell them what their judgments to come, man. Isaiah chapter 19, verse 13, the NLT. The officials of Zoan are fools, and the officials of Memphis are deluded. The leaders of the people have led Egypt astray. Yeah, the leaders of the people caused them to err. 
as it says in Isaiah chapter 19, verse 16. And it says, so the, these leaders of World Economic Forum leaders, okay, are leading a, are leading Egypt astray, man. They're leading uh, the people of Egypt astray. Okay, they're, they're leading the people astray. They're leading uh, our people to fall to the snare. Okay, they're leading them to the MOT to the D. Okay, just like Rick Ross, how he says he's uh, creating a, a bunker. You know, if you're creating it in Babylon the Great, and you, and you're slipping, dude. And the Babylon on the Great is about to be desolate. So, and you, and you ain't gonna make it out from this judgment, anyways. Okay. Like the, the scriptures say, if, if you make a, a bunker over there in Hawaii, like how how Mark Zuckerberg, like how Mark Zuckerberg did, uh, well, Jeremiah 16, 16, man. Uh, uh, how about Shimei Shai? Uh, 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 elect, they're gonna have spiritual how, uh, powers right now. Uh, we're fishers of men, but then they're gonna be hunters. Okay, they're gonna hunt you out if you're in a bunker outside of Babylon the Great. Look at Isaiah chapter 47, verse 7. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Yeah, and you didn't remember the latter end of it. You didn't remember the, the latter end of, of what's to come, of this, of this judgment. You didn't come to, to think of the, the latter end of, of your actions. All right? Your, your actions, you're going to get judged for your actions. Your actions are weight. That's why. That's why you got to be a man of your word. Okay, hey, that, that, that's what, that's what, that's what it's all about. You got to be a man of your word. Yeah. Like the scripture say, every idle word shall give a counter of on the day of judgment. You say you shall be a lady forever, so thou didn't lay these things to thy heart. You didn't lay these things to your mind. Okay, these these uh, uh, actions that, uh, that you're doing. Okay, and this wickedness that you're doing, you are going to be judged for it. Okay, just like. Uh, when, when, when our, like you say, when our iniquity had to end, okay? You, you, when our iniquity had to end, you, you, you amped it up, okay? So, so you're, you're, you're gonna have a judgment for that, okay? When, when, uh, you had a, when you had our people in captivity, you, you amped it up, okay? You didn't, you didn't slap. You just kept uh, oppressing our people as, as much as possibly as you can. So there's going to be a judgment for that. Let's get that in the NLT real quick. Because, because your latter end is judgment. And you, you didn't, you didn't uh, remember, okay, the, the latter end of it. You, didn't, you, 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 know, you know your judgment, but you didn't, you didn't remember it, okay? You didn't, you didn't, uh, you, you didn't take, it, take heed to it, man. Because, hey, it's, it's all biblical prophecy, okay? So, uh, good is set against evil, okay? All things are double against another, like how the scriptures say. You know, the sinner is against the godly. Let's get this in the NLT. You said, I will reign forever as queen of the world. You did not reflect on your actions or think about their consequences. Yeah, you didn't reflect on your actions or think about your consequences. Okay? That's why, that's why you didn't remember the latter end of it. Okay? Because you know the latter end of it or your judgment. But, but you, you, you're not remembering it right now because your heart's being hardened, like I was saying. All right? And also, too, as well, get that, get that word, a, a lady. He said, I shall be, and, and thou said, it, I shall be a lady forever. You get that word, lady. It goes into lady. You get in the root word, Strong's H, 1376, the Lord ruler. Okay, that, that, that's what you, you're, you, you think that you're going to be a ruler forever. Okay? But, but you, you, you're not going to be a ruler for, forever. Let's get that too as well. Back that up. With Psalm chapter 49 and verse uh, uh, 11. Because you're the modern day Pharaoh, so you think you, you're, you're a lord and a ruler, and you think you're going to do it forever, but you're not. Okay? You, 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 don't, you don't think that your, uh, your, your wicked society and kingdom is going to be destroyed because you, you're, you're doing the, the bidding of Satan. Of course, this is Satan's kingdom, but I'm going into it like you don't think that, that this kingdom, that, that, that you're ruling is going to be destroyed. Just like how Pharaoh, uh, uh, during the time of Egypt, he didn't think that his kingdom was going to be destroyed. Because that, that, that kingdom was a strong kingdom. They, 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 they never, they, after that, it, it was done. Okay? Psalm chapter 49 and verse 11. 
Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. Yeah, they call their lands after their own, own names. Own names. That's why America, uh, Babylon the Great, was named after America Vespucci. He, he was a, a, a map maker. Yeah, he was an explorer and a navigator and a map maker. All right. So uh, also as well too. Also uh, Africa too as well is, is named after Scipio Africanus. Okay. See right there, uh, Scipio Africanus is a Roman general. This is modern day Rome. This is Rome all over again. It is showing you, man. And Scipio Africanus too, he conquered Africa. You think this place is gonna go on forever like how it was brought out in Psalms 49 11, but it's not. Hey, yeah, Yahweh Shimei Al Shai is gonna uh, judge you. Hey, uh, after that judge, you get judged. After Babylon the Great, you get judged. Okay, the residue of the heathen are going into slavery. Okay? Yeah, after, you saw even so for white men after a thousand years of slavery, you're going to be wiped off off the face of the earth. Verse 8, therefore hear now, this is Psalms, Isaiah chapter 47, verse 8. Therefore hear now this, though art given to pleasures, though that dwellest carelessly, that say is in thine heart, I am, and none else besides me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. Yeah, you're proud. That's proud. That's a proud mind state. State right there. That's a proud mindset. Okay, you think that you're, you're a god. You, you, you play god, but you're not. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna be brought down low when your house shot returns, and you're, you're gonna get judged. Verse 9, that these two things shall come to thee in a moment, in one day, the loss of children and widowhood, and they shall come upon thee in the, their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for the great abundance of thine enchantments. Yeah, that witchcraft. So then you know, yeah, you, you're going to have a loss, of, a loss of children and widowhood. And ultimately, your seed's going to be cut off off the face of the earth, like I said, after your slavery. Yeah, so let's get this in the NLT. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 9, the NLT. Well, both these things will come upon you in a moment. Widowhood and the loss of your children. Yes, these calamities will come upon you despite all your witchcraft and magic. Yeah, so despite all your witchcraft and magic, you are going to lose. Okay? You are not going to win. You can't win against Yahweh Bashim and Mashiach Malachi Al Shai. It's rigged for Yahweh Bashim and Shai to win. And you can't alter, alter it. You can't change it. Like how you script these sports. You, like uh, uh, nobody could change how you how you script these sports. Nobody's gonna change how Yahweh Bashim El Shai scripted it out for you to lose. Okay? There's nothing of your witchcraft and your magic can stop you. Let's get to the Exodus chapter seven. So uh, it's time of, uh, time of Egypt, okay? Uh, they couldn't do they couldn't do this as well either. The Exodus chapter seven. In verse 9, when Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, Show a miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Aaron, Take thy rod, cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did as Yahweh Shemel Shai had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. So, hey, hey, right there, then you know, hey, hey, Yahweh Shemel Shai. Turn, turn the rod into a serpent. So verse 11, Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner there with their enchantments. So, so they did their enchantments, okay, to try to, try to go against the right hand side, Yahweh Shai, who, who, who was working through, through, uh, through uh, Moses and Aaron. Which Moses was that mediator. Okay, and our mediator now is Yahweh Shai. You gotta go through Yahweh Shai to get to the Father. And just like Yahweh Shai, in the time of Egypt, he was a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night to give light unto the, to our people, the Israelites. Okay, he was a, he guided us, okay, watching over us in the time of Egypt. Okay, and, and all, all, to, all the way to, to, to the Promised Land. Just like that, that's gonna happen. Okay, in the second exodus, okay, Yahweh Shai is going to guide us. It's going to be through that, that blood. We're going to be justified through that blood. And the shedding of Yahweh Shai's blood is what's going to save us. And we hope to have that, that mark of exemption on us. 
continue on in Exodus chapter seven, I mean 11, 11. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. Yeah, they did in like manner with their enchantments. Now that shows you that Yahweh Shem Hashanah works both sides. Okay, verse 12. And they cast down a man his rod, and they became serpents, but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Yeah, so I'm showing you that Yahweh Shem Hashanah is stronger than their witchcraft. Their witchcraft is not going to prevail. Just like I, I just read in Isaiah chapter 47. Okay, uh, uh, no matter what of your uh, sorcery and magic, you, you, you're not going to win. Just, just like in the time of Exodus, the modern day Pharaoh didn't win with the, with the magic on the left hand side. So there, there, there's, there's always a left hand priesthood, okay? Just like how there's a right hand priesthood. You see, there are, uh, 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 Shai, he's, our, he's our high priest right now. There was always a left hand priesthood during the time of the Greeks and the Romans, so on and so forth. Yeah, there's always a left-hand priesthood. It shows you that, that these elites, they're using sorcery and enchantments. Just like Cal in the Book of Numbers, like how Balak wanted uh, Balaam to, to curse the, the Israelites. Okay, the, 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 uh, he wanted him to use uh, some witchcraft, but no, he, he blessed them. Because he wasn't going to go against the Alba Shim Shah. He knew better. Okay? Them to, he wanted that, it's them to cast a spell on Israel. These uh, celebrities, these witches and warlocks, they do all that, all that uh, satanic uh, witchcraft to, to level up. That's why you gotta bend down to, 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 to level up. You gotta do, do this and that just to level up. You gotta sacrifice uh, a, a, a mother or a child to level up. That's what uh, Satan tried to show you how shy. Okay, he's like he, he, Satan told you how shy. If, if you worship me, you, you will get all this, all this glory. And then, all, and then, and then like. For, uh, the, 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 this uh, power that uh, Satan had on the left hand side, but Yahweh Shai, he didn't, he didn't fold. That's why we can't fold either, man. Okay, we gotta stay strong. We gotta stay rooted in Yahweh Bashim and Bashim like Yahweh Shai. Stay rooted in the faith. We have our breastplate on to overcome the fiery darts of the wicked. So I'm gonna continue on in the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, verse 10. But thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. And that's what he saw even the so-called white man does in these other nations that are confederated against him. They trust in their wickedness. That's what they, 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 they do in that World Economic Forum, okay? In, in, in those uh, meetings. Trusting in their wickedness. Hoping that they will prevail, but they, uh, they ain't gonna prevail. Go has said, none see me, none seeth me, thy wisdom and thy knowledge it have perverted thee. And thou has said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Yeah, so this is the mindset of the heathen. Okay, they, they say it. They say, I am, and there's none else beside me. Like I say, he's all so far away, he's trying to be a god. His wisdom and his knowledge is, has perverted him. It's, it's all on the left-hand side, his wisdom and his knowledge. His wickedness and his sorceries and his witchcraft. Let's get that in there. We got to see as well. That's his god mentality that he has. That there's none, none else beside him. He's in that pride, man. He's, 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 Still in that pride. Okay, that's how he's trying to play God through this technology. Okay, through this AI. All right, he's, he's, he's gonna try to control you and control your thoughts and, and know what you're thinking. He wants to know everything. That, that's that's the form of him playing to God, trying to think he knows everything through technology. Just like in that movie Eagle Eye, that that technology. Uh, Ball knew everything. It was controlling the. It was controlling everything that was going on. Okay, that's predictive programming. They put it right in your face. Isaiah chapter forty-seven, verse ten, in the NLT. You felt secure in your wickedness. No one sees me. He feels secure in his wickedness. But hey, when they shall say peace and safety, then the sudden destruction shall come upon them. Hey, when they think they're about to to fulfill their new world order. Their enterprise, when they're right when they're about to fill their belly, then Yahweh Shai shall cast fury upon them, roughly paraphrasing. But your wisdom and knowledge have led you astray. Yeah, your wisdom and knowledge has led you astray because it's on the left hand side. And just like in Isaiah chapter 19, the, the leaders are, are, are leading Egypt astray with this left hand wisdom and knowledge. Because it's all it's all uh, based off of a rebellion 
and, and uh, unrighteousness in Adam. And, and it's adverse to Yahweh It's all it's all anti Hamashiach. That's what they're pushing, anti Messiah. Okay? And there's many anti Messiahs. Alright, so it, it's all it's predicated upon uh, against Yahweh Shem Yahweh and wickedness and, and, and to, to have you uh, push, uh, push in a wicked society to have you uh, cater to the flesh to fall for it, to fall for the snare to not have you in the spirit but, uh, to be in the spirit is peace and life that's why we're going to be in the fruits of the spirit because if you're in the spirit you can overcome this because Yahweh Shem Yahweh you know how to deliver the godly out of temptations he has, he has, he has he, anything he has given you, you can handle it. Any temptation, you can handle it. The temptation he gives you, you will be able to bear it. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. That's First Corinthians chapter 10. So you see, Yahweh Shem Yahshai is always going to be uh, watching over you. And you said, I am the only one and there is no other. Yeah, see, he thinks he's the only one and there is no other. That's his pride. The, his pride has lifted him up. He's exalting himself in that haughty spirit. He, hey, like I said, probably go up before destruction. Okay, he's a deceiver. Like scripture say, curse be the deceiver. Alright? Okay, that hour of temptation, we want to be able to overcome that hour of temptation. Verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know when, from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, when thou shalt not know. Yes, a, a desolation shall come upon thee when suddenly thou shalt not know. Like I said, when they shall say peace and safety, the sudden destruction shall come upon them. Okay? Evil is going to come upon Esau, even the so-called white man. And right now, he's being exposed by this word. Okay? His, his evilness is being exposed by this word. And the mischief is going to fall upon thee. And it shall not put it off. And de desolation shall shut come upon you, yeah, because Babylon the Great is going to be desolate, and his seed is going to be desolate too as well, after his slavery. It's, it's verse 12 in the KJV. Verse 12, stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If, if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if, thou, if, thou, if so be thou may prevail. Yeah, let's see if you'll be able to prevail. Like I said, he's not going to be able to uh, prevail. Yeah, so, so uh, you, you, got, you got all these uh, champions that you're doing. So, so, so use them, okay? So let's see what you can, will be able to do. Yeah, so use your enchantments and let's see if you'll be able to prevail. That's what this is going into. Let's see if you will be able to strive and succeed. Let's see if you will be able to uh, succeed. But you're not. You're not going to be able to get the victory. Okay, with all your sorceries, okay, that you labored from your youth, okay, you, you've been doing this, okay, like I said, the Greek and the Romans, they always had a left-hand priesthood, they've always uh, been into, they, 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 they do this uh, witchcraft, uh, Alistair Crawley, too, he was doing that uh, Egyptian witchcraft, okay, that's a, like, the, those are true e e Egyptologists, man, the ones that are doing that true Egypt witchcraft, satanic work, pushing satanic vibes, that, that, that's all they push is that vibration is satanic. Verse 13, Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels, let now the astrologers and the stargazers and the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Yeah, so let's see if they, they will save thee in the multitude of thy counsels. That's what you just did in Davos. Doing counsels in Davos, the World Economic Forum, man. And it's, it's wickedness, all right? They they're trying to uh, trying to play God. They uh, they, they think they they are in, in control of, of what, what what's to come. He, he saw he, he saw so called white man. He's trying to get his birthright back, but you're not going to be able to get it. You can't change the script, like I said. So let's get that word weary. I mean, Hebrew 3811, to be weary, be impatient, be grieved, be offended. Yeah, he, he's, he's impatient. Okay, that's why he's weary out. That's why he's, he, that's why uh, he's, 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 uh, hurry, he's hurrying up. He, he's doing the, the bidding of Satan. 
he's, he's, he's tired, man. What, what, is he, uh, what is he tired of? He's, he's tired of this truth. He's wearied of this truth, man. He's exhausted of this truth, man, because this truth is exposing him. Disgusted. He says disgusted in the strongest definition. To be disgusted. What, what, is, what is he disgusted of? He's disgusted of this truth. This truth is disgusting him, man. Because he's being, because this truth is leading to his downfall. This is the book of Job. Let's get this one real quick. This is the book of Job, chapter 14 and verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Yeah, he cannot pass those bounds because his days are numbered. Soon, sooner or later, judgment is going to come upon Esau, even the so-called white man. And he is not going to be ruling. He's not going to be doing the bidding of Satan and ruling this this kingdom no more. It's going to be destroyed. Okay, his time is almost up. That's why Satan coming down with great wrath because he knows he got but a short time, and he's doing the bidding of Satan. So his time is almost up. Okay. His, his, his days are determined. His days are numbered. His days are not going to last. It's not, it's, he doesn't have too much more time to be ruling Babylon the Great, his earth, he's, he's the elite, these Amalekites. Back that up with Job chapter 7, verse 1. Is, not, is there not an appointed time to a man upon earth? Are not his days also like the days of a hireling? Yeah, your days are numbered, dude. You, you, your time is running out. That's why, that's why you're weary. You're weary in the multitude to thy counsels. And you're disgusted with this truth that is exposing you and is bringing, is manifesting your end. It's, it's bringing your end, man. Okay? Yeah, that's why the, this word is manifesting in the, the end of you. Just like how Moses and Aaron, when they, were, they, 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 they spoke you know, those plagues into existence, okay, the prophets are speaking your destruction, your, your judgment into existence, okay? Just like Yahweh Shai, he's the word, and he created things, he created things with the Elohim by the word. So this word has power, okay? Just, they, they, uh, they took down the, the, the wall, the, the wall of Jericho by, by, by the word, man, okay? So your, 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 your time's running out. You're coming to an end. Let's see if these astrologers, stargazers, monthly prognosticators will save you from, from these things that are going to come upon you. Which they're not, man. You're, you're, they're not going to save you. Just like, uh, just like uh, how, how it happened in the time of Exodus. It, did, it, did, it didn't save Pharaoh. It's not going to save you. You're the modern day Pharaoh. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 8. Now as Janus and Jabris withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Yeah, that's what the people uh, of our nation of Israel, hey, they're, they're just, just like uh, as Janice and Jambres, they withstood Moses, man. So do these people resist the truth. Okay? They, 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 they got corrupt minds and, and they're, they're reprobates concerning the faith. They're apostates. They fell out. Okay? And that's that, they're showing you uh, 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 Janice and Jambres, just like what I read in Exodus chapter 7. That's what Janice and Jambres were, were trying to do that witchcraft. And, that, and that, that's what all you're doing is to try to come against the truth, twisting the scriptures. Is there's witchcraft, those uh, apostates and those reprobates. Like, like it says in uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 30. Reprobate silver shall men call them because the Yahweh Shimei Shai had rejected them. Yeah, and that, that's what uh, all these people, all the false brethren, that have come against you with, with lies, so on and so forth, and apostates that fell out their faith, the reprobate silver. That's why Yahweh Hashem Yahshai have rejected them. Okay? The reprobate silver, man. Okay? Just like Janice and Jambres uh, are men today that resist the truth. They're, they're reprobates concerning the faith. Uh, that shows you that, that that's what happens to people who fall out the faith, man. They, they, they become reprobates concerning the faith, and they, so they try to. Uh, they, were, they withstood the truth, just like how Janice and Jambres did. They resist the truth, just like how they did. Okay, let's get this and I'll finish it off. In Isaiah chapter 47, and verse 14, Behold, they shall be as stubble, and the fire shall burn them. They shall 
shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal warm, a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. And yeah, that's where they're going to be a stubble, man. And that's where the fire is going to come. Okay, they're going to be a stubble. And that's letting you know that ultimately that they're going to be a stubble and that they get wiped up, wiped off off the face of the earth. Okay, and Babylon the Great is going to be a stubble too as well. And they shall not. There's the power of the flame. They shall be a stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor a fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee, with whom thou hast labored, even thy merchants from thy youth. Yeah, even thy merchants from thy youth. That lines up in Revelation chapter 18, man. And they shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. Yeah, none's going to save you from your judgment. Your judgment is set in stone. You can't change it. And the victory is for the elect. Yeah, those are the ones that are going to get it. Hey, it's, it's, it's plain and simple. Hey, man, that's why we got to have faith in it, man. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. Let's get that out of Obadiah. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Okay, the, the, the house of Jacob. That's, 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 that, that's showing you uh, the, the southern kingdom. Okay. The, uh, and the house of Joseph, a flame. That's the, that's the, uh, the, the, the northern kingdom. Okay. And the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh Shem Yahushai has spoken it. And yeah, Esau is going to be destroyed after his slavery. Okay, after your slavery, you are going to be destroyed. And there's not going to be any remaining of you, man. Okay? Verse 19, and they shall, and they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau, and they of the, the plain of Philistines. And they shall possess uh, the fields of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria, and then Benjamin shall possess Galeed. So uh, the elects, they're going to have control of, of the land. That's going to be uh, sorted, you know, with, with the promised land. And the elects are going to govern out of that. So with that, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. Peace, salutation, hope, the elects, scattered by across four corners of the earth. Learning your teaching this gospel in truth and sincerity. Waiting on the second coming by our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, Shalom, Wong.